Hey there friends, in this video we are diving into some awesome nursing school exam hacks that you can use to choose the right answer even if you're not totally sure what the correct answer is. So if you're struggling with taking your nursing school exams and if you're not doing as well as you want, then this video is for you. So hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. And let's dive in. So you already know that nursing exams are totally different than anything you've ever taken before. They are worded completely differently and they really test your critical thinking skills to the max. That is why I highly recommend watching this video to help you deepen your critical thinking skills and develop them faster because you'll do better on your exams and at clinical that way. But most nursing students I talk with don't know that there are some super cool task taking tips and strategies that you can use to pick the correct answer even if you're not totally sure what the correct answer is. So let's walk through some of them here. Now, if you're a Nursing SOS member, be sure to check out the bonus video that we have for you on how to answer nursing school exam questions. You'll find it inside the bonus section of your dashboard. And I go through a lot more test taking hacks than I have time to cover here today in this video. So definitely check that out after you watch this video. So the first nursing school test taking strategy is the one that's on everybody's mind, how to answer those dreaded select all that apply questions or SATA questions. Students message me about these all the time because they are some of the hardest questions you'll see on your nursing school exams. With these questions, you'll see a checkbox next to each answer instead of a circle, and it will allow you to choose multiple answers. And in order to get the question correct, you need to select all of the correct answers. There's no partial credit given if you only select a few of the correct ones. You need to choose all of the correct answers. So here's the best strategy that I found to help with this. Look at every individual answer and treat it as a true or false question in and of itself. So here's what you'll do. Read the question and then look at the first answer and ask yourself, is it true or is it false as it relates to the question being asked and then decide if it's correct or not. And then repeat this process for each answer. Reread the question and look at the second answer and so on. You must treat each answer individually. Some answers may be very similar and that's okay. You can select both of them if you think that they're both correct, even though they are very similar to each other. With SATA or select all that apply questions, all answers should be treated individually and you should not compare them with any of the other answers. So that's why we take one answer at a time, read the question, read the first answer and then decide if that's true or false. So you need to treat all answers like true or false questions and take each one individually. Don't compare answers to each other. The second nursing school exam hack is that when you see two conflicting or opposite answers, one of them is most likely the correct one. So for example, if you get a question that asks about the side effects of a particular medication and they give you four answers, decreased heart rate, low blood pressure, tachypnea, or tachycardia, two of those answers are opposite of each other. Decreased heart rate and tachycardia, which means a high heart rate. So more than likely, one of those two answers would be the correct one. They're trying to see if you know the difference between those two terms, along with critically thinking about what the side effects of that medication would be. So if you see two answers that are opposite or conflicting to each other, one of them is most likely the correct one. Now the third nursing school test taking strategy is super duper important, but before we dive into it, I want to give a shout out to our YouTube comment of the week from Maha, which says, OMG, I love her. <laughs> I spent close to two hours trying to understand the relationship between potassium, glucose, and insulin. I finally understand now. 
Thank you. Oh my goodness. I am so happy about that. That is so sweet, Maha. I'm so, so glad that our videos have helped you out. I really don't want it to take you two hours to learn anything in nursing school. That's just crazy land. So I'm glad that I can break it down really simple and really easy for you and help you learn it faster. I'm super happy that that helped you out. I just love reading your comments every week. We are blessed to have the most supportive supportive nursing students here. You are the best, my friend. Thank you so much for your support and keep your comments coming. I really do enjoy reading them and getting to know you. So let's get back to those test taking tips. The third nursing school exam hack that you need to know about is that patient safety is always your number one priority. The best thing to keep in mind during your exam is the ABCs, which stands for airway, breathing, and circulation. Make sure that your patient's airway is open, they are breathing, and their blood is circulating. If one of those things isn't happening in the exam question they give you, that is what you need to fix. We have a whole video on the ABCs and what they mean right here for you to check out. Oftentimes, nursing school exams will present you with a case scenario question and have you decide what you would do first to help that patient. And they may ask you what your priority nursing action would be or what your initial action would be. So when you get one of these questions, when you're asked to prioritize, your first thought should be the ABC's airway, breathing, and circulation. Now in a few weeks, I'm gonna do a video on how I was able to take an entire day off from studying every single week during nursing school. Yes, you heard that right. So if you are feeling like you're drowning in nursing school right now and just can't catch a breath, make sure that you've clicked on that notification bell so you will get notified when that video goes up. Seriously, you don't wanna miss it. Now make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with one of your nursing school friends and click on one of these videos right over here so you can keep rocking nursing school and go become the nurse that God created only you to be. And I'll catch you in the next video, my friend. Take care, bye.